Hi there guys, um, this is a video kind of blog of my computer, um, it's not working at the minute, I'm not entirely sure why it's not working, but by showing you the video hopefully you guys can help me out out there. Uh, the lighting's a bit poor in this room, so I've got my desk lamp there shining in on my case, that's been open. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through the specs of my computer before trying to diag uh, trying to show you what the problem is. So the case is in Antec 300. Uh, case. Um, it's got a Antec True Power 650 watt PSU, so that's pretty good. Um, the motherboard in the case is the Gigabyte EP45 UD3R Revision 1. And um, so we've got under here is an Intel, under the CPU cooler is an Intel E400 at 3 gigahertz, so none of the parts here are overclocked. Um, we've got um, a HISS. We've got a HISS 5770 graphics card, again not overclocked. And here we've got 2 gigabytes, 2 times 1 gigabytes of uh, OCZ Platinum memory card. Um, so, and then we've got the 500 gigabyte Samsung hard drive and CD drive. So the case is pretty much upside down. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to power it through the back here and then this is going to start up automatically so if I just power it on now we can see that the LED lights start flashing some of the fans start spinning but then it hangs um, the BIOS won't post so it's no, I can't really show you the monitor because there's nothing happening and so there's this continuous on off cycle so what's known as a reboot cycle from what I've been searching through the web so as you can see it's continuously happening and the only way to stop this is to turn off from the back here so that's off to turn it off now going on the internet and seeing that if you change the memory slots it's probably bad memory and that's what it is and that can affect the motherboard um, or affect its booting up process so what I'm going to try and do is take the memory card out oh, sorry the memory sticks out and um, just swap them around a bit. So I'm just going to do that and uh, show you. Okay. Okay, so what I've just done is I've turned my camera off whilst I've changed the memory sticks around. So originally it was in one um, lanes one and three, which are shown in the yellow, but now I've moved the memory sticks to lanes two and four. So it's still in its dual channel configuration. So I'm just going to turn on my computer again. So again, the fan starts spinning, the phase LEDs light up. It's repeat, so it's turning on and off. Don't know if you'll be able to hear that. Um, there's no audio beeps, and again, there's no BIOS showing up, the BIOS screen showing up. Um, so, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the sticks out, just in case one of it's bad memory. So, okay, so I've only put one stick. It's in lane one, just there, uh, and none of the other lanes are occupied. So I'm going to again turn on the system. Again, exactly the same problem. No audio beeps, no BIOS post up. It's just restarting. You can see those LEDs flashing, and maybe the fan just. But that's about it. Um, so I'm going to stick it the other channel in that lane. Uh, sorry, the other st uh, the other memory in that lane. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I've just stuck the other memory stick in there, and I'm gonna restart the system. And again, probably not gonna see anything working. Okay, so I was right. You're not gonna see anything working here. Okay. So, I've just turned it off. What if I stick brand new 512 megabytes of DDR2? I've just literally opened this out of the pack here, which I've just been given by a friend of mine uh, to diagnose, to see if it actually is a memory, either the memory, both the memories have failed. So I'm gonna stick that in um, and see what happens. So that new Kingston RAM is in there. You can see that, it's still in lane channel one. 
I'm going to turn the system on. And ah, lo and behold, the same problem. I don't know what the problem is with this shitty motherboard. Okay, I'm just going to turn this off. I'm going to try and put that same memory in uh, channel 3, uh, sorry, channel 2 and channel 3 to see if that will fix it. So that Kingston is now, 512 meg RAM is now in channel 2 and not in channel 1. Let's see if this works. Nope. No, it doesn't. Why aren't you working? Okay, I'm going to stick it in channel, th uh, in lane 3. Um, so, push that bit. Maybe I should turn it off. Um, put it in there. Put that in there. Into there. Okay, clip. Clip. So, securely locked in. Lane 3 now. Actually. Turn it on. Nope. As suspected. So, this has led me to believe that the motherboard may be at fault because I've just put brand new 512 meg DDR2 RAM. So, that's not working. Um, I've So, these are the OCZ uh, 2 times one gigabyte. And again, these ones didn't actually affect the system. So, these are PC26400 and I don't know, for some reason they're not working. Um, forum boards have told me that once the BIOS screen comes up, then you know you might be able to change the some of the electrical settings, like the V-Core or something like that. But I can't get to the bloody BIOS screen. So I, I really don't know what's happening. So I'm, I'm hoping that you guys on the interweb can help me fix this problem. Um, as you can see, it's a very quiet room because this is down. So I rely on that for like my entertainment, my gaming, my work, TV, music, everything. So it's a real shame that this system is broken down. Um, any help will be gratefully received. Um, so please help. Thank you. Hello there. So <clears throat> I'm just going to talk about what I've done to... Uh, why I think it's the motherboard and not everything, anything else. The power supply is an Antec, so it's fairly new. It's six weeks, and it's a really good quality one. So six weeks old. It's powered my computer at home, so I know it works. Um, so that's not a problem. Um, but if I run through what it's connected to, it's connected to a twenty-four volt. Okay, um, you've got the twelve volt. It's connected to that yellow cable going into the 12 volt. Um, it's also connected to the graphics card, so that's a PCIe connector. Um, and you can see that um, the SATA connectors, SATA connectors to the hard drive, is connected, and they run, and that also runs up to my SATA DVD drive. Um, so that's one thing. Um, the power switch, so the internal power switch connector. So when you press the power on the front panel, um, just to make sure that the switch isn't doing all this, I've disconnected that and reconnected it, and it still didn't work. So it can't be the switch. Um, I have actually reset the CMOS, so to see if there's probably like a BIOS issue, or I've reset it. Um, so the CMOS, which I don't know if you'll see from here, it's just there in the center between the two batteries uh, just there that's the CMOS and so I've connected it the <coughs> I've connected it and that s still does the same problem um, so yeah so I've also rebuilt the system as well so when I first came across this problem which was yesterday took everything apart, including the PSU, the graphics card, the memory, they all came off, including all these connectors. And uh, the only thing that didn't come off was the CPU and the cooler, mainly because I don't actually have any thermal paste to put the CPU cooler back onto the CPU. But I don't think that's the problem. I don't think the problem is lying there. 